Hello Scorpio gang, welcome to my channel Tarot by the Intuitive Teacup. Happy to have all the Scorpios out there with me uh, for this career and finances, sort of a little sips mini tarot reading. The first half will be career and finances uh, and the second half will probably be love, romance, things of that sort. I'm kind of leaving the ending open-ended, but usually those messages of love want to come through. Anyway, what's up guys? Uh, here on YouTube, for those who don't know, I do general messages. That means not everything I say will resonate with you. That's totally fine. That's totally normal. You are always going to be in the driver's seat of your own life. Uh, so you get to determine which messages you want to take away here. Highly recommending you take away the ones that resonate with you, that motivate you, empower you, inspire you, uh, confirm something you were feeling or thinking. That's my goal here today, right? If it feels strange or foreign, drop it like it's hot. Assume it's a message going out to someone else, and then maybe later down the line it will resonate or you can manifest it, right? Um, yeah, that's my general spiel for the newbies. Um, everything else you want to know will be down in that description box below. I can already tell you of a card that wants to be seen. I'm going to look at that. I picked up the deck and that one specifically kind of fell out. Uh, I'll, I'll pick it up in a second. Um, yeah, everything else down in the comments below, the decks I'm using, on my social media. I'm the Intuitive Teacup on Facebook and Instagram as well as .com. Uh, please do like, share, subscribe wherever you can. That helps me a whole lot as a reader. It helps this channel grow and thrive and develop. And that's ultimately my goal here, right? So let's get two more cards and then we'll hop in for... I almost called you Gemini. I wonder if any of you are dealing with a Gemini. <laughs> for my Scorpios, my beautiful Scorpio gang. Scorpio. Two more cards for, for love, romance, relationship, whatever wants to come through. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. Okay, so what is the card that wanted to be seen? <clears throat> the hanged man in reverse. Um, so he's upright, isn't he? He's not really hung upside down getting that new perspective. So either you guys are coming out of a state of delay or pause, maybe wanting to move forward on something but feeling like it wasn't the right time. It seems like you're, you're coming out of the net, right? Mermaid tarot, maybe you've, this could also indicate you found a way out. If you felt trapped, if you felt like maybe you were with someone but you, you were kind of mustering the courage or the strength to, to leave or, or to do something different, to have an awkward conversation that maybe you've been avoiding. This is saying you, you did have to go into hangman mode to think about it, to process how you, were, how you wanted to deal with the situation. But I think it's like you've, you've had that epiphany, you've had that clarity or that idea of how to move forward too. Um, it could indicate that if you were waiting on somebody, again, th there might be forward motion. What comes after the hangman is, you know, the Scorpio card, right? The death card. So that to me is very positive. Something that was paused or delayed, there's the ending of that pause or the ending of that delay, in which case you're, like, you're, you're stepping into your power again with, with that death card that it's not here yet, but that's what I'm getting is like it's, it's around the corner, so... Uh, you have several bottom of your deck cards because I'm using many, many decks. The one that's standing out to me most is Capricorn. And you, okay, you have four of pentacles twice. So that indicates to me that's a pretty significant energy for you guys. Again, this is sometimes the comfort zone or the safety zone. If it, it doesn't necessarily have to indicate that, but it, it does indicate a, a stuckness, sometimes a stubbornness. Sometimes we can view this as like the miser card, you know, holding on to things because you want nothing to change. In a sense, sometimes this can be an avoidance of change, right? The death card that comes after the hanged man in, in the fool's journey in tarot, right? For those who don't know what I'm referencing. Yeah, this is saying you, you maybe were stuck in the comfort zone or, or just... In some case, it could be settling. It's like, yeah, this is good. But it's like universe is trying to get you to notice that your, your I don't know, maybe lack of motivation, right? Or, or lack of seeing a, a, a better future or something distant. They're saying, you know, why are you stopping here? Why? In a sense, this can be like, why are you letting the negative energy win? It could be almost a sense of defeat. It's like, oh, this is my life and this is what it's going to be. It's, it's kind of saying, no, raise your vibration. Or it could opposite, I mean, the devil card is not always bad. Sometimes it can indicate, you know, toxicity or being in a, a relationship that is just, it's not for your best and highest good. It could also indicate just a Capricorn, which, you know, fabulous, right? Or maybe not, right? If you've been staying with a Capricorn because it is familiar, because it's all you've always known, it's saying for a lot of you, whether it's positive or negative with a Capricorn, there is upcoming change. So if you don't know a Capricorn, this could indicate you might be hearing from one, maybe from the past. We have, I think, six planets in retrograde right now. It could also indicate a job offer. Cap the devil card to me does frequently indicate things involving your career, your money. I mean, the 10th house, right? So yeah, there there is changes coming. And I mean, 
get ready. It could be changes in money as well uh, with, with pentacle energy and, and again that, that devil showing up. Multiple cards of a uh, Capricorn. So <sighs> the thing is I don't really see the hanged man as moving. Well, okay, I, can, I guess we could look at it as if you're moving into the death card and it's the ending of a cycle. It could be career related, but even if that is the case, Scorpio, for a lot of you, it would be a career that, again, you've settled for. So again, you don't have to take the mess that message away if it's not for you, but if it's saying you were stuck at like a dead-end job or stuck at a job that didn't value you or a job where you were just barely getting by, it's like you were pinching at your pennies hoping to, to save and you just weren't, it's almost saying you freed yourself from that net. I just heard net worth. I don't know what that's about. But do you know, understand what I'm saying? There is transition and change for a lot of you. It doesn't have to be negative. Um, but yeah, the, okay, there is going to be a little bit of conflict there. So y y there might be internal conflict of like, you know, I, I'm not hoping this happens, but if you are sensing that there could be a layoff or something, it could potentially indicate that you... You, if, say, you get laid off, you're struggling with it internally, like, oh, but I needed that. But in the long term, you're going to realize, oh, thank goodness, because it, it actually was um, a, a catalyst for promoting self-growth and change in my life so I can nurture my own career. And, like, essentially what's, what's, what's in your heart's desire? Uh, this is a card about aligning to, with God, with, with divinity. And ultimately, it's like the major arcana version of the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment. So it's like those stars in the sky that, that seemed unattainable or, you know, again, that's sort of what I was getting it. Like, oh, it's too far away to bother. I, I could never do this. I could never switch careers. I could never do that. This is the universe saying, oh, you don't even know, Scorpio. Like, like they're coming in possibly, well, I don't see any tower cards here, but they're coming in with something that, that, that is going to shift or change your, your perspective, your, your life, your money. And again, it is for your best and highest good, particularly a collaboration with a Capricorn or possibly an Aquarius. But yet yeah, you're on the fence. I'm sensing internal struggle and something with a cancer up around the corner too, or a possibly an ending with a cancer. Um, and actually the way I said that, I'm happy to deliver that. Uh, again, I don't do medical readings by any kind, but sometimes the way I hear things, it's like the way they're phrased, the end, end of the cancer. So again, you'll know what that means if, you're me if, if, if it's your message. So, all right. Anyway, that was all bottom of your deck. Yeah, a lot of you have something positive with an Aquarius coming in. Potential, again, potentially a job offer. Certainly you could view this through the lens of love, but I'm reading for career. But I would say so far what I'm sensing is change to get you out of a place that is stuck. Um, it's not necessarily that it's completely negative, because I mean it isn't, right? With here, here money is good, it, it's okay, but it's indicating that there isn't a lot of room for growth. It's like his hands are so full he can't accept any new blessings. This to me is spirit trying to free up some of your hands so that you can welcome in newness and change and essentially cast a wider net. Maybe it's, it's doubling your income by going after that, that dream career that you've always considered but never actually made the steps to go towards. Changes in money are, are ahead. And again, I'm not saying it's negative for all of you. For those who are working in a job, that if you're like a traveling salesperson or you're constantly on the road or something about the travel, it could be that your commute is going to be lessened. The travel is going to, uh, I, I hate to say it, hopefully this isn't a scary message, but like plummet. There's an ending to the travel. So for some of you, if you're in a job that travels and you hate it, that's a good thing. It's not necessarily indicating the job will, will cease to exist. It's saying the travel aspects are going to be roped in significantly. Uh, I'm specifically getting that. This could also indicate issues with your car. I know that's a random message, but if money is tight, it, yeah, it could be that something about the change in income is that you're actually going to have to dole out money to fix your car. So word to the wise, get it, you know, get it tuned up, bring it to the shop if you're at all suspicious of something because you may avoid something that is, you know, I, I don't know, like you could blow out a, a I mean, it could, you could blow out a tire or an engine or something like that. Anyway. All right, Scorpio, this is a mixed bag. There's a lot of messages coming through for you. Let's look at like your actual spread because I, sometimes I just get messages bottom of the deck and I just I have to relay them the way they want to be relayed. So Ah, hermit mode. All right. So you have a card of Virgo for some of you. Again, I, I actually do like seeing that in a career spread, especially for any of my entrepreneurs out there or those who are uh, solopreneurs or um, independent contractors. Uh, if you work on your own, essentially, or you own your own business, there's very, very positive cards coming through there. 
Uh, there's there's good connection with the people you're selling your product to or working with your clients, your vendors, etc. There's reason to celebrate. Maybe you're going out for drinks. Maybe you formed a new partnership in your business or there's some major deal where you guys decide to collaborate on something or merge or whatever. And it's celebratory energy. It's very positive there with both of these cards. There's a group dynamic, too. So happy it's showing up in your career reading and not your love reading. Right. But generally speaking, we, we like things to be, you know, two people in, in the romance department. But hey, whatever you're into. No, I'm, I'm just teasing you guys. So yeah, there's uh, something about the illumination. A lot of you during this whole quarantine thing, if, if you have removed yourself from, from big, large groups, and then, sorry, <laughs> obviously, yes. What I'm saying though is that time alone was extremely valuable because it allowed you to align with your true purpose. And even if you're not quite there yet, it is getting you to think outside the box, literally four of pentacles, we think of a square, right? That's exactly what this is. You're thinking outside the box on something new that you're, you're very motivated or inspired or quite literally driven to go after. And it's probably something you've toyed around with before or you've been juggling it back and forth with maybe your, your main income versus like that little side project that you're very excited about. Could also be incorporating something into what you're currently doing, right? And, and mixing the two together. Uh, with the infinity loop, it, it's not always separating. Sometimes it's, it's bringing two together. For a lot of you, this could be a business partnership. Even if it's not long term, it could just be kind of a... I'm so sorry, Scorpio, my camera froze there. So even if this is a business partnership, even if it's a one-off, it could be that you collaborate very well with someone. You guys have um, very similar ideas or something about you know creative collaboration. It, it, it sparks like a lot of... Um, yeah, like a, a lot of um, useful, I don't, I don't even know how I want to phrase it. The work you guys put out together, it just, it, it, you guys are like soulmates, I guess, in terms of like the work that you guys do. So it could be that you form a collaboration on a project that you actually decide to reunite and do it again and again and again. It's almost like a dynamic duo type team type thing, potentially with a Cancer or a Gemini for that matter. Maybe a Virgo. That's not really coming up close to the collab cards. But yeah, I mean, it certainly could be. Some of you may have very strong Virgo in your chart, too, particularly if it's like your rising or your moon sign. Again, just small bits of confirmation for those who relate to that. Yeah, collaboration is, is going to be very good for you guys, is, is what I'm sensing. Um, it could be someone that you started communicating with in Gemini season, and maybe you never really got something off the ground. It does seem like this could be a timestamp as well. In Cancer season... There's going to be an ending to something and a, and a, and a beginning in something. It could potentially be in something else. There is an ending in cancer season of something. Again, it doesn't have to be the job, right? But something is ending that it has, has caused you more strife and burden than it has happiness. You're moving away from it, right? Uh, some of you could literally be moving away from a job or away from a person or even just away from a project that maybe you invested time and energy in and you're like, you know what? Like it's not worth the fight anymore because, because here would be the thing. Your heart isn't in it. This is indicating to me your heart lies elsewhere. It could be at a distance from you now, in which case it's like you're closing the gap to bring the two closer together. I have to be honest, this does kind of feel a little bit like a love spread too. So again, I'm by no means trying to make it that. But again, because you have to do some work in this tarot reading too, I'm relaying messages. You have to figure out where it fits in your life. That may have something to do with a romantic partnership. Maybe it's that you and your sweetheart or you and your you know best friend from college are going to merge multiple things maybe your life maybe your household maybe your bank account maybe your companies right there's a <laughs> a merger there's a merging of something but it's very positive and i think you're excited to do it if anything what was once causing you strife of how does this fit where does it go where how can i allocate enough time to do it that's potentially what you're putting an end to it's something negative that you were putting an end to and yeah, there's there's positivity, especially with another water sign, the Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Or if it's not a water sign, it's indicating you have small bits of feelings for them. It could be someone that either you uh, turned your back on in the past or vice versa. But it could be that you guys come together to really knock it out of the park. And again, career-wise, wow, wow, 
Wow, I could keep going. You have Knight, you have Knight of Wands, you have High Priestess, you have the Sun card. Uh, so Leo, Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sag. You got a lot of. You literally have all three right here. You have Sag, uh, Leo, and well, well, yeah. I mean, a King of Wands to me can be Aries, Leo, Sag. To me, it's typically a card of Leo. But yeah, you have all three fire signs. Very masculine energy, though it doesn't have to be. Especially a, a female Sagittarius might might play a role in this. But yeah, you have some very heavy hitters for career and finance there's a nice balance again bringing of the two cups together it could be a water sign or again bringing bank accounts bringing bringing uh spiritual projects or creative projects together in one cup there's a there's like yeah again the dynamic duo is coming to work together that that's really what i get for this and i mean for a lot of you, it's for the long run. It's in the long term. Ten of Cups, it could even be a business that you run out of your house. It could be something where you collaborate with a family member. I'm not absolutely certain what to do with this uh, Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords frequently indicates uh, sort of should I stay or should I go, but it has to do with your thoughts. Should I leave this this thought behind that is that is dragging me down, that is very weighted, or should I almost leave the door open to revisit it later because I'm not ready to deal with it yet? Sometimes in a relationship's red, it can be the liar, cheater, thief card. I really don't sense that. If anything, just because of the way these are placed, you may be walking away from a business partnership or again, a project, a business deal, whatever, that it was a flop. It, it ended up being like a fish in your cup, in which case you're like, eh. Like you would already um, intuitively be sensing that, in which case you're headed in the right direction. You're headed towards something much more fulfilling, much more uh, potentially um, lucrative or, or affluent, something like that. But I, I will say there's something that you're you're still sort of um, reconciling it in, in your brain or potentially your heart. Are you ready to let this opportunity, this person go? With Page of Cups, it could represent just a project. A project that at one point in time you had some excitement for, you were you were invested in it, but then with this, something changed your mind. You started to see something about the uh, the appearance of it it's like something about uh, things are not always what they seem you may have gotten involved with someone who maybe had a little bit of shadiness to them in terms of what they were offering the, their truthfulness about their either their investment in the project or how much money they had to maybe i don't know to loan you money or vice versa if they were asking for money you may have gotten like a, a weird vibe from this, in which case you're like, uh, like I'm going to separate myself from this person because it, quite literally the fish in the cup, you see it as kind of a flop. You see, and it could already be something that you've experienced. It was a disappointment, in which case maybe that's what this is. Maybe you're like gung ho. I'm getting the hell out of here because this person is dead weight, right? This doesn't have to be you. This, this could be someone else in your life that you're deciding to essentially put an ending to, right? You know? You, you finally see things uh, from a different perspective when you're in hangman mode. And then again, coming out of that, either, I mean, again, this really isn't what I'm getting. In reverse, either you're sinking deeper into a more extreme energy of not having clarity. For most of you, though, you don't. This seems very positive to me. For most of you, you're getting out of the hangman mode, the delay, the pause. You know, things are slowly opening back up in certain parts of the country. Obviously, use good judgment, right? But this could be saying you may be moving forward on something that you weren't able to before and it was frustrating and now you're like, all right, let's go get it. In which case, this card could just re represent intense passion and work ethic to, you know, get in there and get shit done, particularly with a business partnership. And again, putting an ending to some sort of conflict, potentially with a cancer, it doesn't have to be. But the, this Ten of Swords kind of, it, just sometimes the way I pick things up, I, I don't intentionally do them, but I keep picking these two up together. So there might be an ending with a cancer or again, moving away, traveling from something that brought you a lot of like internal chaos, okay? So yeah, I mean, in terms of pentacles, I do think you have new opportunities coming in, new blessings. I think they're gonna be small. I think more than anything, you're going to be, again, excited about a new deal or a new project. It could potentially be a new job or just a new opportunity at the job which you're currently at that uh, allows, I heard, open door policy. So maybe you have a better relationship with your boss or you got some sort of promotion that allows you to feel like you're with the in crowd. It allows you to be more open and share your ideas creatively. There might be something involving a Libra here. Yeah, I mean, this is a card of celebration, making a toast, right? So there's something to be celebrated here. 
Again, for some of you, I, I just have to read this in multiple ways. If there is an ending at a job, you, in a sense, you would be weirdly celebrating it. So again, if that's your message, take it and run with it. If it's not, you know, don't make it your own. But it's almost like you're able to justify the ending of something because you know spirit or source has something bigger in mind for you. Some of you may be moved up to a position where, you're, where you are actually hiring and firing, right? You may be able to make a, a call about, rele again, releasing a team member who is dead weight that isn't helping the project. Some of you may work as grief counselors, particularly, uh, or, or uh, marriage counselors. Yeah, grief counselors. You could be working with children. You could be helping... Um, Something with animals, too. I don't know if this is like a very specific market, but something about, uh, oh, like animal therapy, something like that. You may work at a place that does that, or I don't know, you could be starting your own business. Some, and it either has to do with reuniting people or, it, it, sorry, that's not it. it. It more has to do with partnering people up to help in each other's spiritual growth and guidance, specifically in grieving. I hope that makes sense to someone. Um, in a sense, it... It, it's almost like big brothers, big sisters. It's like matching people up. To, do, you, do you understand what I mean? Some of you may be the middleman of matching people up. It, it, it doesn't have to do with grief work. It could even be business counseling or advice. You may be the liaison between companies that need a website built and the companies that actually do it. You might be the middleman. Uh, something about connecting people who are looking for the missing link in their life. For a lot of you, you could even work at like a, something about a, a, like adoption, specifically pet adoption. You yeah, something with a lot of a lot of like veterinary type stuff or animal healing. I mean, some of you may do that, like Reiki on dogs or something like that. I mean, that's cute. Miracle. Keep manifesting because you have a miracle coming in. A lot of you who are trying to get in touch with your spirit guides or angel guides, specifically a father or a Virgo who has passed on, and I'm not predicting this, right? You, you may have been trying to get in touch with them or look for signs of communication. That is, that is coming through for you. So if that's something you've been working at, don't, don't stop because, yeah, there's a lot of afterlife type um, energy here. I'm just going to show you these cards. They're, they're pretty heavy, but there's a, there's a beautiful sense because this is what's coming out. Like spiritual healing and animal work, right? Some of you may have lost a pet recently. I mean, again, just confirmation. I'm not predicting that. Yeah, something with the elderly or divine wisdom, elderly wisdom. And again, something about if you had blocked communication with the divine, it could be that you were blocking your own blessings and spirit essentially had to kind of wake you up to recognize that you need to be like the star player in your life, that you need to be at the forefront and the focus. In which case, yes, something about the, those miracles are trying to come in for you. And it can be small miracles, right? It, it doesn't necessarily mean, you know, everything under the sun is coming in. But I will say, for those who are trying to manifest something really spectacular that's going to bring you a lot of joy and happiness, I mean, let me pull up this card too. These cards alone are, are pretty spectacular cards. And I mean, you have the miracle card coming up, right? So again, a ask God, ask, ask your, you know, your divine, the, uh, your angel guides for, for wisdom, for help, for, for knowledge. Um, because, yeah, they're, they're trying to come in and, and communicate with you. But it is indicating something was blocked or something in, internally inside you wasn't ready to receive those messages. It may have just been that we uh, spirit tried, was trying to get you out of a place where you were like not able to receive the messages. Maybe you were in an environment that was very toxic. Maybe, you know, when you got home from work, you were just exhausted and couldn't spend time connecting to source. It's almost like, that's what I mean. They have to get you out of the safety zone or the comfort zone because it's a false comfort zone. The Four of Pentacles doesn't really indicate growth to me. It's like, we, we got to get you to the next level. And I mean, I think that's what's coming in for you. Really beautiful cards. Again, a lot to do with family counseling or therapy passing on wisdom to those who are feeling lost, to those who are feeling alone or isolated. I mean, you, you are a water sign, Scorpio, right? So ruling with empathy, with kindness, with compassion. Yeah, you could be bringing uh, anything, anything that, that you work as a healer, a doctor, a nurse, a therapist, you know, spiritual practices. You may be offering your cups of kindness to those who are really in need of self-healing. You have a lot of that going on here. So I got to be honest, you don't have ton of pentacle cards, but all your cards are very strong and very positive. 
this is the only one that really gives me a little bit of, of a little bit of pause. I, I, I mean, I, I do, it doesn't do me anything to not be real and blunt with you. This could indicate a layoff, right? It's not, it's not out of the question. But again, if that is your story, right? If, if that does manifest or you are anticipating it, word to the wise, don't linger in this negative energy because Ten of, Ten of Swords indicates that essentially it's the thoughts that aren't helping you. So if there is an ending of some kind, raise your vibration, focus on the positive thoughts, focus on the positive things that could come out of this ending. For some of you, this will be a welcomed relief though. That, that it's going to like aid you in your self-healing and align you to the right path to get you to like where you were supposed to be all along. So I mean, endings are just new beginnings, right? That That's a very healthy way of looking at this. And I know sometimes at the time, that's a shitty message to hear. Sometimes we're not, we're not ready to hear that yet. But again, like I'm looking at your cards and they're all so great. For 99% of you, this is going to be an ending that you're like, all right, well, at least I X, Y, and Z, right? You're going to see the silver linings to this ending very quickly. Or again, you may be the initiator of this ending to be like, peace, I'm out. I'm going towards something else, right? Again, you, you can choose what story you want to take and then manifest it, right? These are the energies that you can take advantage of. So knowing there's a potential ending coming in, okay, what ending do you want? If you could manifest an ending of something or someone in your life, what would that be, right? That sounded dark when I said someone. I'm, I'm talking about like a boss that you don't get along with, right? A boss that just, they, they suffocate your creativity or your passion. You may be like, you know what? I'm good. I think I'm, you know, like I'm going to switch departments, right? That, that's what this could be. So still, I, I just want to emphasize not a lot of pentacle energy, but it doesn't seem bad. There's so many cards of healing, healing yourself, healing families, heal, healing animals, healing healing your relationship with the divine i mean that's that's a pretty heavy message scorpio so focus on your spirituality and faith right i mean you're watching a tarot reading so that must play some role in your life there's there's really beautiful blessings trying to come into you but you need to open yourself up to receive those you know now that i think about it i get that message for you scorpios a lot something about healing with a father as particularly a father who has passed um, so again, you'll, you'll know if that's your message, but you're being encouraged once again to do that. You're, you have ancestors and relatives who've passed on that are watching over you. And yeah, they see you as like a beautiful, a beautiful ball of light, a beautiful being of some kind. And they, they see you as a healer uh, of sorts. So again, if that's not a career or profession you've ever considered, and that's a large umbrella, right? I'm sort of getting uh, like the, the sense to, to nudge you in that direction to start thinking about healing as a profession or incorporating that into what you already do. Uh, even artistic healing, working with people with like art therapy, right? Music therapy, something like that. All right. Let's switch over to love and romance as passion appears at the bottom of the deck. Lovely. All right. What's, what's up with romance for my Scorpios? Forward action, escaping a tower moment. Uh, just as things are starting to explode, you you uh, divert or you you get out of there. You might be dealing with someone who has a temper and, and you finally decide to free yourself. Five of swords, but you're you're worried about not hurting their feelings by leaving them behind. You also may go to hang out with a friend or someone who, I don't know if you see romantic potential in them right now, but someone who's healing or grieving from a recent loss in their life, I don't think it's you, Scorpio. You may end up, again, this is like a message of, of you healing a, a relationship, or uh, it's not, though. For, for most of you, it has to be with a using your gifts of compassion and healing in the life of someone who really needs it. You're offering your warmth and your kindness to them. And I, I think it's too soon to assume that that's going to spark romance between you. But in the future, I got to be honest, that's sort of where this is heading for me. Yes, yeah, someone else, it could be another water sign or an Aquarius, is struggling with something in their personal life right now. And yeah, you come in to like give, give them a pat on the back to give them words of encouragement. In fact, you may have like psychically... Um, uh, like intuitively known something was happening and you reach out to a friend with, with a sense of rush or with a sense of urgency just to be like, hey, are you, are you doing okay? And you find out that something, and again, I'm not really getting specifics on what that is, 
but yeah, yeah, you get like an intuitive hit to reach out to. I, I do want to say a friend or a colleague, and you essentially aid them in their own um, uh, grief, grief work, literally, right? Didn't you have that card? What did I do with it? You have the card of grief work. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you're rushing in to help other people with grief work. And again, it is coming up in like the relationship spread. It could certainly be romantic, but I got to be honest, that's not what this is on this person's mind immediately, right? They, they have, yeah, they have some stuff going on in their life and it feels very heavy hearted. And they may feel like they don't know who to reach out to for help. They may feel very isolated and alone. So more power to you to come in and kind of let that person know that they're not alone and that you're willing to help them. <coughs> Yeah, you're com you're stepping in to communicate, especially at night. You may have to travel and go see them at night. Yeah, a lot of you, yeah, travel. There's tr a lot of travel here for a lot of you. Er and and I, I don't do fear-based readings. I'm never trying to, you know, scare you or do anything like that. You have three cards indicating swift travel. It's like you just get like a sense and you, maybe you call them up and you realize something is very wrong and you go to see them. And like already, I, I kind of don't love this message because I know some of you are like, oh my God, what? Like I don't, Spirit ha doesn't ask me to relay messages of, of death or anything like that because, you know, that doesn't really serve me or you, right, to, to live in a state of fear. It's saying trust your intuition. If, if you feel guided to go towards someone, you're, you're probably right. You know, give them a call. You don't have to jump in your car and then, you know, just go on a whim. But some, some of you will, though. That, that's sort of what this is saying. But yeah, it could be that you reach out to someone and, and you don't hear back and it, and it sort of gets you in the state of, oh, something is weird here. I need to go see them. And so you do. Yeah. Yeah, you're, uh, this is so beautiful. It's, you're just like a welcome friend. It's like, hey, just checking in. Is everything okay? And they're like, oh, Scorpio. Like they're relieved to see you. They, they, they have a lot of stuff on their mind they just need to let go of and like, yeah, I mean, look, I, that's clarifying what's going on here. So it is essentially you're going to help bring them to peace, right? Being at people's bedside. That's, that's important here. Again, that message is not always literal, but there's something to that. Yeah, there's an important message there. It could be that your partner has lost a parent or your partner has lost a job. There's... There is some sense of loss in this person's life and they're feeling very wounded or very sad or again, very isolated. You come in as this little penguin. It's like, it's okay, friend. It'll be okay. I'm here for you. I know you guys were looking for racy, romantic messages of love. And I, 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 like, I can't even give you that because none of the cards are indicating that. It's saying you're rushing in to be a friend uh, in this reading, right? Because that's what this person needs. Again, it could be your, your husband or your wife. It could be someone you're already married to, but you rush in with like, I got you. I'm going to save the day. I'm here for you. Don't worry about it. Like, I got you, boo. That's the energy coming through here. There's a heavy heartedness where this person just needs you around, Scorpio. So it's, it's kind of saying be a good friend. Even if it means traveling to go see them, I don't think you guys would even give two like a second thought to it. Like if that's what I mean, this person means the world to you. You wouldn't give a second thought to, well, it's not really convenient or oh, it's the middle of the night. This is like you hear the call and you're like, I'm there. Tell me, like, you know, give me your address. Where are you? I'm on my way. It's, it's that type of energy. And I think, you know, not only is it good karma, right? You know, the, the love you give out, you will receive in another way. But this, yeah, this person needs you. There, there is a very heavy heartedness to this. So, oh, it's kind of, it is a heavy message. But I want to be clear, I, for, for most of you, it's, it's something that's impacting your person. Again, potentially a Sagittarius. I don't know what that is, but. All right, just to wrap it up, what, what other messages can we give? My Scorpios who are looking for new love or messages of romance, any confirmations, two of cups. Interesting, it's with the same person. That's what I was sensing. So this is representing the person you're going to see who, I mean, you can see it's kind of a dark card. It's, yeah, your person's going through a tough time. You have the same card with two of cups. So I'm not necessarily saying that this person was playing head games. Again, it's, it's almost like they are a victim of circumstance. Something is happening in their life that, that's causing this like five of swords, 
mental confusion, exhaustion, you're coming in to heal that. And, and in a sense, spirit is saying, let it be. That's what this message is. It might not be a message of romance. In fact, it's really highlighting partnership to, to bring warmth and love to someone who's really going through it. Um, so again, for some of you, there may be a romantic spin on this, but I almost, I don't know how to express it. I almost don't want to ruin it with that because that's really not what this message is, is first and foremost trying to say. So again, that's double confirmation for me. That's what this message is. You're a five of swords person. Again, it's not the negative connotation of five of swords. It's someone who's really stuck in like mental confusion. Eight of wands, you are rushing in to help save the day and bring nurture and healing to that doves right like peace beautiful harmony harmonious relationships all right that's what i got for you scorpios um please do like share subscribe let me know in the comments down below it resonates i will see you very soon for more tarot bye guys